Hey guys, this is Littens, and welcome back to episode 2 of Thief Deadly Shadows. Uh, where we left off, we were about to rob this Ponzi sounding lord called Lord Julian. But first, we have to get past his guard, which doesn't seem that hard because so far they've been pretty shit. First thing we talk to do is make a noise, make a I'm going to try and send it through that doorway so that it will run off in there. Uh, I really have no idea what that sound could be. Okay, I hear ya, I hear ya. I just haven't found you yet. I think we might be deliberately taking the piss, because... <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Then again, why... I just have to say this now. Why is it that the guy's got something called a noisemaker arrow? He's firing an arrow which sounded like it had a firecracker attached to it. I mean, this game is fun already. Really fun. We're firing arrows with water on arrows with firecrackers and shit. But seriously, you don't think you would notice if you fired, like, a bright firecracker across some of these plane of vision. Anyway, sometimes things don't work out as expected. Lord Julian isn't here in his room. Oh, no. Dirty trick. And neither is his velvet bag. Because, obviously, in the middle of the night, he's carrying his bag with him. You're trying to steal. Find a clue which tells you where he's gone, and your objectives will update can use O to view them. So let's find a clue. Let's search for clues, Shaggy. That was a terrible impression. I'm sorry. I apologize. There's a candle. Oh, right. I looted the candlestick. My friend and honored Lord Julian. I... No, it's a cook. My friend and honored Lord Julian. I will meet you in the Lancaster room tonight. I trust you will be mindful of the risks involved and be generous. Morris. The cook. His lordship has gone for a walk. Can't have gone far. He has gone in. I throw this on him. Oh, ho -ho! what a shot! Candlestick. Hang on, gotta try see if I can do it. Ah. That? No. Sorry, I'm just gonna do this every time now. It won't tell me whether it's worth it or not. I already forgotten all of the things we learned. Anyway. Shiny goblet. What's through here? Downstairs. What's in here? Is there anything in here that we could do? Well, well, there's obviously a shitty guard around, so... What's over there? <sighs> Lord Julian is here, sitting near the fire, talking to someone. His purse is right next to him. Sneak and steal the purse without being seen or heard by anyone in the room. When you got the purse, proceed into the kitchen, stick into the shadows, walk silently and move while your opponent's backs are turned. Keep an eye on your light gem and use your tools if you need to. The guard starts searching for you, sneak away. <sighs> yeah, that's what we're doing. We're walking in the shadows, moving in silent, guarding against extraterrestrial violence. <laughs> I'm bloody dangerous, I am. Let him come, that's what I say. Right, an American person saying bloody just makes no sense just to me. Just once I'd like to see somebody try something. Now that would be some good fun. Oh, I thought this was a close... <sighs> <laughs> Let me sneak away. Downstairs. I'm bloody dangerous, I am. Let him come, that's what I say. Oh. Five picked men. My lord. Five picked men with me, and we <laughs> cut our way through. He's your cousin, my lord. I won the bet. My shaft was closer by a thumb's width. The bloodline opal should rightfully be mine. If I may, my lord, I can help you. I know oh the shit! Well, you're a cook. Uh, what could you know? Oh, every evening after sunset, more than your guards, obviously. Comes through that gate and into the courtyard, and no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening, and then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty, and my accursed cousin. Alone, listen. 
There is a passage leading into the castle from the courtyard. <sighs> I can open it for you when you give me the signal. The torch in the lion's head sconce. Yeah. You, put it out. you the walk on. Torch. Yes. Killick. And when I reach the vault and hold the bloodline opal, I will take my place as head of the family. The Lady Elizabeth will be waiting. Even now she'll be flattering him, giving me time to return. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. Oh, you must keep hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it with his life. My lord, I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. Some kind of... What's that racket? Shit, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. Come out, Taffer! I heard you! Where is he? By all the ruckus, I can tell I'm looking for something big. A brain, perhaps? What ruckus is he on about? Don't make this worse on yourself. Oh, right, you know what? Fuck it. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna have to do this. Still there, huh? Don't worry, I'll oh. be finding you soon. Yeah, well, not as quickly as I steal your master's purse and get out of the kitchen. Well, first thing I'm going to do. Do that again. I dare you. Oh no, I fucked up there. Fucked up there, guys. Press the wrong button. My bad, my bad, my bad. I can oh. hear you, so just come out with your hands where I can see them. Yeah, well. Why don't I put my hands inside your face? Better than other places. Sometimes even a careful thief gets caught. Oh shit! Pouch. It's gone. Okay, there. I saw that. I see you. Close one. But I've still got the ah, hands. Thought I heard. Actually, oh. Hmm. Can I kill him first? Can I kill you? I just want to kill. If anyone's here, they're gonna be in big trouble. What the bloody? Stabbing you. Um, you can go in the fire. End the mission. Nothing like mixing in society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. But I need a better idea where to start looking. If I show the medallion to my fence, I'm sure he'll know more. Heartless Perry always does. Well, he has the best name out of all of the fences, and I'm pretty sure I understand now why none of the guards go after him. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe favorite if you enjoyed. I'll get back with another episode pretty soon. See you guys later.